racers, Marshall Pruitt. We are here in the paddock, the opening IndyCar race of the season. All of our content this weekend brought to us by our friends at Shell. We are indeed powered by Shell this weekend. Every time we come to a new track, new event, new season, whatever it might be, there's always some fun new liveries on the cars, just different looks. And I realize I want to do more of that when I get to whatever track I'm at covering here for racers. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look here in the paddock at St. Petersburg. We're also going to go inside where the majority of the cars are housed inside of a parking garage, which is really dark. But for some of you who haven't had a chance to be here, just want to take you inside and let you look around and see what it's like being here up close to the cars to start this brand new NTT IndyCar Series season. All right, let's start our paddock tour here with Team Penske. Champions, winners of this race last year, so naturally pole position for them in the paddock normal setup here with their three car operation under the tent uh, some good looking cars here decks on Scotty's number three some Hitachi going on for good old Jam Master Joseph and I love the Verizon colors on good old DJ Willie P's car our defending title winner so here's a quick look under the tent at Team Penske We'll slide through here, check out the new attenuators. I'd call it the rear attenuator, but there's no attenuator up front, so it's just the new attenuator. Look at this, beautiful alignment, as you would expect from Penske with their driver's scooters here, lined up, wheels turn the same direction. And hey, look at Ganassi, similar thing. Although this lead one might be a little bit ahead, so not sure if they're winning the alignment championship. Here's the aforementioned parking structure we'll go into shortly. A look back. Hey, it's Rena's VK, boys and girls. Firestone, their support trucks. And here we are with Ganassi. Here's our man, Alex Polo. How are we doing, guys? Good. Uh, hello, is this live? Uh, th well, it's live on recording. Oh, perfect. So, um, so I have some news. Um, news? Yeah. I am officially a Pro Day member for the second year in a row, yes. second season. This is my pass with my photo on it. Gets you anywhere. Anywhere. And I have some cool stuff here. So. Yes. Look at that. Our yeah. man Alex Polo saying hello. And under the tent, what do we have? Kind of the, uh, the standard Ganassi layout. We see Mike Hole and Chip over there. Some Husky chocolate going on. Hi, Dave. Dave Pena, your Indy 500 winning chief mechanic. But this is their standard setup. They're here every year with cars laid out in this same direction. I already put away Marcus Armstrong's hot rod. Say hi to Chip. Hi to Mike. We have Alex Pelot's hot rod over here as well. This is their setup in the paddock. Indy car with the technical inspection pad they're already gone no need to be here late afternoon on a Thursday Honda performance development over here in the corner cool cool new vehicle here we're gonna get into this this hybrid CRV and then finally shell over here in the corner and look at that our pal Davey first and Pharaoh doing a little video here together this is where all the cars will come and get their new 100% renewable renewable fuel for 2023. So let's turn around, fast forward a little bit, and head into the parking garage. Let's take our little walk, our little adventure into the parking garage. Just wheeled away Lungard's high V hot rod, but here we have Graham's. But yeah, um, truly parking for the Dolly. Salvador Dali Museum, and also the Mahaffey Theater. That's where IndyCar teams call home every year when we venture, as I almost trip and kill myself, venture into St. Petersburg. So I'm a little late getting to this. So some teams have put their cars away or are in the process of that, but here we have a Look at that, look at that sexy man. 
Simon Paginot, his Meyershank Racing Hot Rod. I'm a sucker for pink, so I love the uh, Auto Nation Drive Pink initiative here. We see this across a couple different cars, but here is our friends at Meyershank Racing. That is the back of James Hinchcliffe's head. Something folks tend to enjoy, but look at the light, see? As I mentioned, it's a little dark in here. So they've done something smart. Extended some lighting out here. Simo's, actually uh, Elio's car here on the setup pad. Good man, Adam Rovazzini, we're just walking past here. There's Simon and his trusty engineer, Garrett and Shank himself, but yeah, smart of them to get their lighting game going. Move forward into this giant compound, also known as Aero McLaren. Being here on the side, they don't exactly need all that same light like Shank does, but here is our man. Alejandro Rossi. It's funny is it's not showing up exactly the way you'd hope on camera, but that is a brighter orange. That papaya is brighter than it is appearing right here. But this is their little home. Some setup pad time for Felix. Our man Pato over here in the corner. They kind of make use of all that extra space here. Yeah, kind of wedge teams in wherever you can, however you can, inside of this parking structure. We step across, we have some AJ Foyt Racing, Hunkos Hollinger Racing. I like the old school Gilmore-esque colors. Benjamin Peterson's hot rod here. Sexton Properties yet again. Huge supporter of the Foyt team and of AJ. Have been for quite some time. Look at this, we've got more of the mobile uh, lighting going on inside this little parking garage dungeon. Santino Ferrucci's hot rod on the setup pad here. And then keep moving over to JHR. Loving the colors. Loving the colors. Augustine Canapino here, over speaking with one of his lead mechanics. We got Callum Eilat's hot rod being towed away. They saw me and said, hey, get our stuff away from this moron, clearly. If you look at this, just a little curvature here going from flat parking structure to a little raised element. Doesn't matter. Teams need to spread out, get their tires out, get them all nitrogened up and ready. But this, once again, it's just a little bit different. You make use of the space that you have. That's really just the name of racing here in St. Pete. Some of the nice designs on the wall here. Uh, another aspect of this as well. Uh, need to use the bathroom? Well, that's what you use. Hold on. Do I see a rapid young talent by the name of Miles? Bro! How you doing, Marshall? I am super. I'm happy. I'm all the better to see you. Good to see you. You've been quick like a bunny in testing so far, yeah, right? I know. Year starting, cannot wait. I'm so yeah. excited for you and the, the Pabst Racing Team. I think you're gonna be on to some big things, son. Yeah, we'll see, I'm happy. All right, happy well. right now, so we'll just try to keep the good spirits up, you know? See, and I like how we're walking around the IndyCar paddock here. You're getting a little accustomed to where uh, you'd be in a couple years, I right? Hope, I mean, uh, Are we so. breaking some news? All right, <laughs> all right. I'll see you around, right? Much love, brother, see you soon. Here we are in the traditional end of the parking garage place by our friends at 
Dale Coyne Racing with HMD Motorsports and we whip around Dale Coyne Racing with Rick Ware Racing. On the set of pads here, David Malukas' hot rod on the right, Stingray Rob on the left, loving the colors this year on the Stingray Mobile. Another talented rookie. And believe it or not, we are almost done. All we need to do is wander over and see the vehicles at Andretti Auto Sport. I'm not totally sure, and they're all put away, so I've failed you in this completely. I'm not totally sure why they like this over here in the corner by ourselves thing. They've done this for just a little while. So this has become the norm for them. Notice that they have covered over their setup pads with not only, as I try and focus, actual covers for the scales themselves, but some weights so they don't blow away. Why? Well, it does rain here frequently. Could easily come in, get into the electronics. All the toolboxes nicely lined up. This is where Andretti lives during the event. Right across from them, we have Honda Hospitality, other team hospitalities. Chip Ganassi told me they're doing some form of media availability tomorrow. Wanted to know if I would be there, to which I said, you don't want to start the year talking to me, Chip. Start on a high note. So anyways, we'll try and save that for later. But here we are in this parking garage that houses the NTT IndyCar Series. Thanks once again to Shell powering all of our coverage this weekend. Thanks to you for following along. Racer.com, I'm Marshall Pruitt. Speak to you here soon.